Well, just as we're careful to keep medications and certain household items out of the reach of children, we need to do the same with our pets. Last year, there were more than 100,000 cases of pet poisoning in America. Many of these were caused by substances you probably have in your home that may seem perfectly harmless to you. Our resident veterinarian, Dr. Craig Pryor, is here now with some of the most common items that can poison our dogs and cats. That's a scary thing. We yes, talk about is. poisoning. It doesn't necessarily mean fatal, but it can certainly no. make our pets ill. It can make anywhere from just mildly ill to incredibly ill to fatal, you, and you don't often know what you're dealing with. All right, let's talk about what we need to be careful of. The first one is human medication. Yes, and you know, they, they're always with us. Our pets are always right there. They want to interact with us. They want to be with us, and you may be getting a pill out, and the most common thing I hear is I, I spilt the bottle of pills, or I dropped something, and boom, they just, they're on it. Hey, mom had something, boom, and it's gone. Yeah. And they don't pick things up in their hands, they pick things up in their mouth, and then it's natural for it just to keep on going. So now you're dealing with toxicities, or you have a pet that's not feeling well, so you go, you know what, I take ibuprofen, I'm just gonna give one to my pet. Well, you know, your pet may be 10 pounds, you may be 100 pounds or 200 pounds. There's a big dose difference there, and certain medications that are safe for humans are not safe for them. Ibuprofen, Tylenol are not safe for your dogs or cats. Most people don't understand that. Because it's safe for us does not mean it's safe for them. So never diagnose your pet, always go to your veterinarian. Correct. And so that's just any type of medications. Just don't do it. Talk to your vet first. And, and then you go on to what else is around the house. Well, you know, you know, there's lots of things in our house. Foods, mm -hmm. chocolate, grapes, um, you know, candy that's got, got xylitol in it. All these things are toxic. And then just feeding your pet from the table can create digestive upset. So you've got all that as well. And remember, they don't learn. So once they get their taste for chocolate, they're going to go find it again. So, you know, you can't say to them, don't eat this. They don't understand right, that. Right, right. You know, and then lots of people buy pet medications over the counter, um, especially flea and tick. And then they buy something and say, oh, my cat's got fleas on it. And they put it on the cat. Well, it was the dog medication, and that's toxic to cats. Oh, really? And, and so you've got to know what you're using and what's safe for what species. And there's a lot of stuff out there that's just not that good anyway. So, again, talk to your veterinarian. Yeah, and read those labels. Carefully. Read the labels. Baby proof your house. Rat poison is another highly toxic one. And then there's also just regular pet medications. You may have a dog that's on a non steroidal anti inflammatory. It's a flavored pill. They like it. That's why it's flavored. They're flavored, so they like it. So some of them go, oh, I'm going to jump onto the counter and get my bottle of medication because that tastes really good. And I don't know it's medication. I think it's a treat. Mm -hmm. And now you've got an overdose from that. So like kids, pet medication should go up in high places where they can't get to it. In those situations, too, uh, going back to the beginning where you've spilled your human medication and the pet laps up a bunch of it, what do you do in that situation? So first thing you want to do is, uh, if you can, make the dog vomit. Uh, and, How do you, you know, do that? So uh, you know, typically a little bit of peroxide will do it in most cases. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you need to get it somewhere. It's your regular veterinarian, or if it's after hours, get it to the National Pet Emergency Clinic as soon as possible. But make sure you always grab that bottle of medication so we know what's in there. So we can then look it up or call the appropriate, you know, poison control to work out what the, the active ingredients is. Because that's the, 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 you know, one of the most frustrating things is, you know, you, you, my dog's eating five of my pills. What are you on? Oh, I don't remember. Ah, uh, yes. You know, we can't help to know what to do toxicity-wise unless we know what's in there. So just like it was your child, bring yes. the medication with you. Correct. And call an expert. Yes. All right, good. Some great information. Thanks so much. My pleasure. We appreciate you being with us. If you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Pryor, you can find him over in Sylvan Park at the Murphy Road Animal Hospital.